Thank you so much, David. I'm back here in Dallas. We're at the George W. Bush Library, and he and Mrs. Bush are going to weigh in on the news and their lives in private. The Watch the former U.S. President George W. Bush making a slip of the tongue and almost saying that the Boston Marathon bombings was a conspiracy while being interviewed by ABC News anchor Diane Sawyer for the inauguration of his presidential library. Notice how visibly uncomfortable his wife Laura Bush becomes. Mr. President, I do want to get right to the news of this week. Sure. For so many Americans, the terrorism in Boston. Yeah. Many people have wondered if it took you right back to 9-11 when you heard it. Well, at first, uh, you know, I was deeply concerned uh, that um, there might have been a organized plot. Uh, I don't know all the facts. I don't think we all know all the facts, but I was deeply concerned that uh, this could have been, um, uh, you know, another cons uh, organized, highly organized attack on the country. And it still may be. I, again, I don't know the facts, but I do know that it's really hard to protect the homeland. I mean, the, 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 those who want to do harm only have to be right one time, and we have to be right 100 percent of the time. Uh, you know, another cons uh, uh, you know, another cons uh, uh, you know, another cons uh, organized, highly organized attack on the country. The former president remembering what it is like in the crucible. Last week, the president of 9-11 watching the president of the bombings in Boston. The terrorism in Boston. Yeah. Many people have wondered if it took you right back to 9-11 when you heard it. I was deeply concerned that uh, this could have been, um, uh, you know, another highly organized attack on the country. And it still may be. I, again, I don't know the facts. But I do know that it's really hard to protect the homeland.